It's this disaster that tsunami expert Jose Barrero has selected for the top 10. I'm here in Banda Aceh, Sumatra, the northern tip of Sumatra Island facing into the Indian Ocean. This place in particular suffered one of the worst tsunami disasters in human history. The Indian Ocean, bordered by Asia, Africa, and Australia. In December 2004, millions are enjoying the holiday season along its shores. At about 8 a.m. local time on December 26, 2004, everything changed. Just offshore from here, where the Indo-Australian plate subducts underneath the Eurasian plate, more than a thousand years of tectonic stress were released in a matter of seconds. The earthquake has a magnitude of 9.1, the third largest ever recorded. As the Eurasian plate thrusts upwards by 20 meters, it displaces billions of tons of water. The resulting wave traveled east towards Thailand and Indonesia and west towards India and Sri Lanka. And in the tsunami's path were millions of people. One of the more enduring and dramatic images of the 2004 tsunami was the withdrawal of the water level from the shoreline, leaving the entire foreshore area exposed. This is a phenomenon known as drawdown, and it's caused by the tectonic displacements offshore. While one section of the plate is thrust upwards, the section of the plate closer to the coastline actually subsides, and the water rushing in to fill that void is what causes the withdrawal of the shoreline. Had more people realized that this was the sign of an impending tsunami, perhaps more lives would have been saved. I'm here in the busy city center of Banda Aceh, and it was here on this street corner where some of the most graphic video footage of the tsunami was recorded. On the street behind me, the tsunami surge came flowing up the road channeled between the buildings. Watching the footage, we see that the leading edge of the tsunami was actually slow enough that people could escape simply by running or walking. However, this part of Banda Aceh is very far from the ocean, and people simply didn't know what to do. As the flood depth increases, so too does the speed of the flow, until there's no way to escape unless you can get to high ground. That's what the person who shot this video did. He climbed up over here. and he lived. However, thousands of other people that day could not get to high ground, and they ended up dying in the waves. The tsunami wave came right through here. These are very sturdy concrete buildings, and many of them weren't knocked over by the tsunami, but rather the water flowed through them, between them, and actually channelized the flow and made it speed up and get deeper in some areas. The water here didn't go past the, the first story. It was all pretty much less than about eight or 10 feet deep. So in terms of escaping, a lot of people could have gotten away just by getting up to the second story as the cameraman did at the corner. And lessons have been learned. Buildings like this one have been constructed throughout the area to provide safe refuge should another killer wave strike. For Jose Barrero, they're a powerful reminder of why he regards this disaster as one of the worst ever. The combination of the exceptionally large earthquake and the tsunami which caused such a devastating human toll over so many countries makes the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami one of the top 10 natural disasters in human history.